remember when, uh, how close were we to being on? Close. Oh, like seconds. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to James Lonnie Thomas Field at Esther County High School for his high school softball action featuring the Esther County Engineers taking on the George Rogers Clark Lady Cardinals. This is Danny Wood. Trusty teammate is not here. We'll get more on that later, but my former boss and the sports journalist for the Citizen Voice and Times and Supreme Lawnmower Blaine Click is here with us. And Blaine, the Esther County Lady Engineers, this is a young team, and when we go down the lineup, it's going to be amazing when you see the ages of these players, especially with the seniors going on the senior trip this week. But they're a hitting team, and uh, they have a team batting average over 370, taking on George Archer's Clark tonight. Uh, lost a heartbreaker to a very good Gary County team last night, but uh, coming in at uh, a record of 8 and 9, this or 9 and, nine and 8, actually, the Esther County Lady Engineers, uh, they're young, but I'm telling you, bro, they can hit. Well, Danny, you're exactly right. These are very young engineers. Even when the uh, seniors are here, the young players, especially the freshman group, getting a whole lot of playing time and a little bit evident in the up and down season. But you're right, a great game last night in the loss to a really strong Gary County team. Tonight they're taking on George Rogers Clark, my former student teacher, Daniel Rogers, who used to coach at Madison Central, now at the helm of the Lady Cardinals. And they're up and down and also very young, but they had uh, winners of four, five in a row, actually beating Montgomery pretty well, and also a good uh, Rowan County team. So they're on the uptick as well. Well, certainly from the old days, that was our biggest rivalry probably, and uh, Jackie McLeod coached over there for years. Uh, of course, uh, the year that we made the state tournament, made the semifinals, uh, Jackie was probably our biggest supporter. And actually, on the uh, final play in the Raceland game, Brooke Reynolds made that great play to send us to the uh, state final, state semifinals. I think he was actually on the phone with Arthur Ballard and threw his cell phone out on the field uh, after the play. But uh, anyway, a long time passed uh, between flip these phone. two. Flip phone. It was in the old days, yeah. These two schools have had a long history, especially in spring sports. Absolutely, old 40th District foes. Beautiful night for softball here at James Lonnie Thomas Field. About uh, 75 degrees and sunshine. If you're playing right field, that's not good, but uh, if you're us sitting in the shade, it's awesome. Producer Austin pushing all the right buttons. We're going to be handing back and forth the microphone, so I'm glad I'm working with Blaine instead of William tonight because I might get to talk a little bit. Let's take a two-minute break, and we'll be back, and we'll have uh, starting lineups in about two minutes. You're watching on WBON-TV. When you need professional assistance, White & Associates Certified Public Accountants and Consultants of Richmond can help you. Providing professional services to individuals, small business, self-employed proprietors, corporations, municipal, governmental, and not-for-profit organizations. White & Associates provides individualized services for taxes, audits, business startup, consulting, financial services, payroll, and bookkeeping. Visit the website for more information and to see the local testimonials. White & Associates, PSC, 1407 Lexington Road. Richmond. We've got Kinetic Blue. We've got Cajun Red. We've got Storm Blue Metallic. We've got Mosaic Black Metallic. We've got Summit White. What are we talking about? Jack Burford Chevrolet Equinoxes. You could get up to $8,000 off on select Chevy Equinox models. Check them out at jackburford.com and be sure to subscribe to our Jack Burford Chevrolet YouTube channel too. Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling has the largest showroom in Central Kentucky with all the power sports products you can dream of for your next adventure. Gateway Cycles has a qualified, certified service department, friendly sales staff so you can ride free and play hard. Local people serving local people. We are here to make your dream a living adventure. Stop in and see us today at Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling or visit us at gatewaycycles.com. We all know bad things happen to good people, but why not be as prepared as possible for those things? Linville Insurance in Richmond and Berea can make sure you're prepared when that happens. As an independent insurance agency, we represent many top-rated insurance companies for you, your home, your auto, or business. Our professional, educated, and experienced staff is here for you locally and 24-7 via our website. Or by calling us in Richmond, 859-626-5252 or Berea, 859-986-1056. Be prepared with choice, flexibility, affordability, all with superior protection it's time for america's greatest pastime with wbon tv 
presented by Bishop Small Engine Repair and brought to you in part by Eastern Kentucky University, People's Bank, Berea Urgent Care, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Steam Engine Pizza, also with House of Q, Renfro's Collision, Cumberland Valley National Bank, Linville Insurance, Citizens Guarantee Bank, and Markham and Wallace Hospital. Let's go down to the field because it's time for WBON TV Sports. Back here at Estacani High School, the Estacani Lady Engineers under Coach Amy Kaler finishing up their pregame defensive routine, getting ready to take on the George Rogers Clark Lady Cardinals. The Estacani Engineers come in tonight with a record of nine and nine. Is that correct, Blaine? I keep saying, is it nine and nine or nine and eight? Eight and nine. Eight and nine for Clark for sure under Coach Daniel Rogers. Winners of their last four, including Montgomery County in their last contest. Starting lineups for the Estill County Lady Engineers. Pitching tonight and leading off number 18, Emma Winkle hitting 525. Unbelievable for the freshman. Shortstop hitting 422. Eighth grader Macy Muncy hitting second. Hitting third, number, uh, number 11 hitting in the... The three spot center fielder, Katie Johnson, hitting 396. Mo Riddle hit a home run last night. She's hitting cleanup, playing left field, hitting 344. Vanna Newton, playing right field, hitting 261. Mia Hale, the freshman, playing first base, uh, a little unusual from her normal shortstop spot, hitting 286. Henley Hunter, catching, hitting 364, in place of the injured Kaylee Riddle. Uh, second baseman, Rayleigh Jones, hitting 231, hits in the uh, eight spot. And designated player Lauren Farmer hitting 467 will hit in the nine spot. Nisa West will be the flex player. She's playing third base. But the interesting thing to me here, Blaine, is for the Esther County Lady Engineers, freshman, eighth grader, freshman, freshman, seventh, freshman, freshman, sophomore, freshman uh, in the lineup. And most of them are hitting over 300. And the team batting average is about like 370 something. And the seniors have been doing well as well. Taylor Duchelle hitting about 370. Uh, Amelia Farmer having a great year hitting about 400. Elizabeth Hardy got injured, but she was hitting 500 before she went down. This is a hitting bunch. So even when the seniors were here, the, the young folks were playing some pretty good ball. Amelia Farmer just now really sort of recovering from the knee injury. Uh, talk a little bit more later about a an award that she's received for rehabilitation and perseverance, but uh, she's basically been rehabbing the last three years, but you can see her getting more and more comfortable on that knee every game she plays, and I think the last time out, maybe four hits and five at-bats and four RBIs, if I'm not mistaken. Nominated for Player of the Week in uh, the Herald Leader Contest. Uh, Clark County, coached by Daniel Rogers, they come in at eight and nine. They'll send out, leading off the shortstop, Marty Rogers, she's a freshman, hitting 410. Second baseman, Kendall Harrison, hitting 412. She's a sophomore. She'll hit second. Hitting third, Courtney Miles, the pitcher, hitting 316. Um, she's a senior. Emily Schooler will hit cleanup, hitting 295 for the Lady Cardinals, the left fielder. And she's a freshman, another freshman. Ashley Martin will hit fifth, hitting 273, the first baseman. Lauren Tobby playing third base. Uh, a sophomore, hitting 293. Catching and hitting a seventh, Paige Caudill, another freshman. They're very young also, hitting 148. Senior Lauren Carpenter will play center field, hitting 129 and uh, hitting ninth. Uh, hiding another second leadoff down there, looks like. In right field, Christina Young hitting 293. Um, don't know a lot about George Rogers Clark. We haven't seen them play. They're not in our district anymore, but, you know, it's a big school. they got a big tradition. So and the engineers, I'm sure, are going to have to play well to pull out a victory tonight. Well, trying to look to see if there were any common opponents, Danny. I don't, I don't see any yet. I think there was one that uh, we looked at earlier, but don't see it. I know that uh, they did beat Montgomery County. We play Montgomery County twice in the next uh, two weeks, so we'll see some old 10th region foes when we do that. But, uh, Clark County also going with the black on black uniforms tonight and trimmed in red with red socks and red undergarments. Estill County with the white shirts, the blue pants, the white socks, and the blue bows tonight. And mentioned, you mentioned apparel because uh, William Hardy, the reason he's not here is he is in Berea, Kentucky at this moment in support of Berea Wears Leggings. 
uh, movement that is going on there in Berea, Kentucky. And he picked out a special pair, uh, gold and white, representing the Irvin Elementary Golden Eagles. Um, and I just I admire him for that and uh, glad he's not here on television. So the Carhartt leggings, the new, new version of uh, Too much leggings. chafing. Uh, they, they, didn't, they tried that in a test case, but uh, just a little bit too much chafing. Well, they said it was the legging that lasted a lot. As well, getting ready to have the national anthem, so let's, t let's take a one-minute break, and we'll be back with the start of this one. Back in one minute, you're watching Estill County Engineer Softball on WBON. At People's Bank, we do it all, from personal banking to business banking and lending services. And unlike some other banks, we make all decisions locally. When you don't have time to wait, count on us. People's Bank is the perfect fit for your busy life. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. People's Bank, with lots of locations to serve you. Give them a call at 986-6860 and check them out online, WhitakerBank.com. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem! Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too! Physicals at Berea Urgent Care are only $15. DOT and CDL physicals are just $55. Berea Urgent Care number 1 by Berea Walmart is open every day from 9 till 9. Berea Urgent Care number 2 by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 till 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care Centers, here when you need us. Old pork, brisket, ribs, burgers, hand-cut steaks, prime rib. Follow the smoke to House of Q, Barbecue, and Irvin. Whether you like your meat cooked low and slow or seared and sizzling, House of Q has just the thing to ignite your taste buds. Eat inside in the beautiful dining room or outside on the biggest patio in four counties. Follow the smoke to House of Q, Barbecue at 77 River Drive in Irvin. For your car, home, and business, Linville Insurance Agency has it all for you in one place. We serve the insurance needs of individuals, families, and businesses all over Kentucky. And be sure to stop by our brand new location in Richmond off US 25. We're located right behind Sunny's. Sit with us and let us quote you a great insurance rate. Our professional, educated, and experienced staff is here for you locally and 24-7 via our website. Hi, I'm Lori. I want to be sure to invite you to come visit us at our new location at 1060 Center Drive in Richmond. Back here at Esther County High School on James Liney Thomas Field, getting ready for softball action featuring the Esther County Lady Engineers taking on the Clark County Lady Cardinals. Glenn, you brought that up, but I'll never forget watching as the back when Shirley Beard had the team in the uh, uh, 10th region and went on that magical run. What was that, 2005? Uh, and it started in the 40th district against these Lady Cardinals who were highly touted at that time and under Coach Jackie McLeod and then just went on a magical run and make it all the way to the Final Four of the state tournament. You know, the irony of that season though, Danny, was the last regular season game that we played that year was against Powell County, who are now in the same region and district as, and Powell beat us, sort of jump-started, and then we got hot in the postseason. Made the incredible run. One of the players on that team was an assistant coach now for the softball lady engineers, Amanda Edwards, who was the catcher, I think a sophomore on that team. You're exactly right. And an outstanding one and a walk on at the University of Kentucky. And that was a magical ride. Emma Winkle will be on the mound. Also, in addition to the young hitters, young pitchers, as Kaylee Kobe graduated last year, went on to play, is still playing down at uh, Lindsey Wilson, and uh, Emma has been really coming on as a pitcher um, so far this season. You got some of her stats. Sure do. 72 innings pitch, 4.18 ERA, with some uh, imp real impressive numbers. Six and four record with uh, 80 strikeouts. So 
Emma, who's about maybe 100 pounds soaking wet, can bring the heat. No doubt about it. Coach Amy Kaler's Lady Engineers taking on Daniel Rogers' Lady Cardinals. Leading off for the Lady Cardinals will be freshman Marty Rogers hitting 410 and the shortstop. First pitch on the way. And it swung on in a weak round ball to Rayleigh Jones at second. She flips on the first one out, Lady Engineers. That away, here we go, that's one. Engineers with uh, sort of an alternate lineup tonight. People playing some unusual positions with the seniors gone. Two, three, one. Mia Hill jumps out, playing first base. She's no stranger to that though. She's played that in the summer a lot and in middle school. Next up, Kendall Harrison hitting 412, second baseman, sophomore. Takes a called strike on the good off-speed pitch. Just a little high in the strike zone. Oh, yeah, right I think the last, maybe the last coach at Waco right High School. Good job. Really? Really? Which my dad graduated. Really? And yours did too, didn't he? Well, he, he was at Waco when the oh, he dropped out. was central. Yeah, oh, when he dropped out. Yeah. Oh, you're good, you're good. There's ball four on the 3-2 pitch. And Harrison walks. That'll bring up the number three hitter, Courtney Miles, hitting 316, the pitcher. Gracias. Don't really expect a bunt, the three spot hitter. Three, four, three, Maybe this three. early in the game. Right, here we go, right here, 18. No one better, baby, no one better. Miles, the lefty. First pitch swinging popped up. Winkle calls it. She's got it. And quickly there's two down. Cardinals being very aggressive early in the count. One of the advantages of having Winkle on the mound is her speed to ball. She was under that ball before I could even identify where it was at. I'm pretty sure I saw it a little bit. It was here. It was here. Schooler, the cleanup hitter, left fielder for Clark County. And we got two. Runner on first, two down here in the top of the first. Danny Wood blank click with you, Austin. First pitch swinging a strike. Let's go, baby. Keep working. Here comes 414. Swing and a miss inside. Dropped. Hunter's going to throw down to second. And a little bobble there by Muncie, the shortstop on the one off throw. And safe at second will be Harrison in scoring position now for the cleanup hitter. Okay, don't let it play you. Attack it. Hey, good job, Ian. Keep working, man. Keep working. O2 count. Runner on second to the cleanup hitter. I'm going to guarantee this one's not going to be in the strike zone. Well, yes, it was. On the outside corner for a called strike three on the fastball. And that's the end of the top of the first as we go Clark County. No runs on no hits. They leave one runner on base, and we'll go to the bottom of the first, zero to zero. You're watching Estro County Lady Engineer Softball on WBON TV. Entrepreneurs have passion and a lot of determination. They also know that a trusted support team is essential for success. Your neighbors at Cumberland Valley National Bank know a lot about working with small business owners, offering a range of loan and leasing opportunities as you develop, build, and grow your company. Stop by your local CVNB in Richmond or Berea or visit CVNB.com and let's talk business. CVNB, helping turn plans into reality for more than a century. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. At EKU, you'll learn to take a broader view of your world. But we also understand it's the details that shape the big picture. So go ahead, play with fire, think on your feet, or touch the sky. Here, you'll be a part of something new, something big, something beautiful. Be a Colonel. Your time is now. Back here at James Lonnie Thomas Field and Estill County coming to bat. They'll send up Emma Winkle, Macy Muncy, Katie Johnson, freshman, eighth grader, freshman. As the seniors are gone to Washington, D.C. on the senior trip, heading toward the memorials this evening Let's up go. in D.C. Kind of lost track of the schedule. It's different. Wow. Okay, that first pitch sounded fast. It sounded. Uh, Courtney Miles had some good stats 
And throws the ball hard, obviously, based on that first one. Emma Winkle, that didn't bother her too much. Swings a little on a little bit above her hands right there. Emma one and comes one the in count. at 525, Nanny. That's Crazy. Top 20. I haven't looked it up. I will. It's top 20 in the state. And just a freshman. One to the count as she swings and fouls one off. Straight back. And if you can hear, it's 23 RBIs to boot. And home run power. There's a swing and a miss on that one. Looked like a curveball outside. And Emma goes down swinging. One out. Macy Muncy, just an eighth grader, hitting 422. The left-hander playing shortstop tonight. And if you see her in the batter's box, and you think back a few years, looks very familiar, doesn't it? A little skinnier version. <laughs> and she's going to try to bunt for a base hit. Pops it up to the catcher. Cottle takes it in, and there's two outs quickly. That'll bring up Katie Johnson, center fielder, also a freshman, hitting 396. Let's go, Katie Johnson. Get some start here, Deuces. Go to bed. First pitch swing puts a good swing on it, looking for the first pitch strike. Fouls it straight back 0 and 1. Always interesting to watch teams closer to Central Kentucky the way they play their third baseman as compared to the Mountains. Second pitch inside swinging, strike 0 and 2. Yeah, Toby way in. Particularly for two outs and three spot batter up. And swing and a miss, three up, three down. Four miles, very impressive inning for Estill County. No runs, no hits, nobody left on base. We'll go to the top of the second, zero to zero. Back in 60 seconds, you're watching Lady Engineer Softball on WBON-TV. Auto accidents happen to all of us, and it can be a very stressful time. Let Renfro's Collision make the repair process easier for you. They have the training and equipment to repair your vehicle back to pre-accident condition. You have the right to choose your repair facility. So why not choose one who works for you and not the insurance company? Your family safety is our number one concern. Renfro's Collision, 22 years of excellent service, and that's not by accident. Hometown Dental in Richmond has been serving the people of Madison County for many years. Now when you go to Hometown Dental, you can get everything you need under one roof because Hometown Dental now offers orthodontics. Hometown Dental is a full-service family dentistry dental group with a personal touch. Check out their website, hometowndentalrichmond.com, to learn about their services and staff at Hometown Dental. Located at 4095 Atwood Drive, Sweet A in Richmond. Mention this ad and get free x-rays or $100 off Zoom whitening treatment at Hometown Dental. Where are you going, Ruth? Athletic Director Ruth leaving her post to eat her sandwich, apparently. She's a little bit camera shy, Danny. You can usually hear her. She's not audio shy. All right, back at it. Top of the second, Ashley Martin, the number five hitter, hitting 273, the first baseman. Looks at a first pitch strike from Emma Winkle. Another familiar Winchester name there, Martin. <laughs> Hell on One, first. Two. The person, right, not right here, right here, figuratively. Up. Jones at second. Muncie at short. West at third. Looks like Johnson in center. Is Mo in left? Mo Riddle in left, who hit her first two, home four. run the other night. Here we go. No one better, baby. No one better. Up, Swing and fouled off to the right side. Yeah. Not where I usually back. park my truck. I always keep all my windows rolled down just in case. And in right field, who we got in right field? One, two, five. One, two, five. Knock it down, infield, knock it down. Vanna right Newton. Here, right here, the There's a pitch, one hopper fielded deftly by Emma Winkle. Throws on to first base, no panic in her game. It's a hard hit ball, a little defense there. Ball was hit hard. She reacted really quick, kind of a skip, skipping rock across a pond type look. All right, here we go. We got one down now. We got one down. See, that's the kind of stuff Hardy never comes up with right there. The skipping, the rock across the pond. He's not. Hey, we got one down. 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 Hey, we got one down
Right here, right here, right here, right here. They bring up Lauren Tauby. Swings at a high one for the first pitch. 0-1-1 oh, the count. The sophomore third baseman hitting 293. 18, Beautiful night for softball. No one better, baby. There you go. And swinging it one a little bit higher than the first one. 0 and 2. I have a feeling where I know where the next pitch is going. Toby seems to Five, struggle four, to lay two. off the high ones. Hey, here we go, 18. Here we and go. I'd say this one's going to be over her head. No, nope. hey! oh, down the way. Swing and a miss for strike three. And two up and two down. That'll bring up Paige Cottle, another freshman for Clark County. The catcher hitting 148. Not, not sure, but I don't think uh, Winkle has even reached two balls yet in the count. Well, she so did walk in one guess. in the first inning. Other than the walk and lead off. <laughs> Second inning. Okay, if you're right. going to keep correcting me, I'm not going to make well, any more points. That's why you keep a scorebook. You know, they make scorebooks. <laughs> yeah! But the, the viewers at home don't know that, man. <laughs> Well, actually, they do. They're now watching it and not just listening to it. So, well, that was your trick to get them to pay attention. Yes. Swing and a miss on the first pitch. A one one. Ball low on the second one and one. Two outs here. Zero to zero. Top of the second. Two one four. Two one four. And we got two. Make a play. Good pitch down and away. Swing and a miss. One and two. The count. Me or does it hey, seem like the ball's three. really traveling? Both five, pitchers look one, like they're throwing really five, hard. Five, Emma can get up there right 60. And this other girl, I guarantee she's throwing 60. There's a foul straight back. <laughs> Stays alive, <laughs> one and two. Paige Cottle. <laughs> I thought I was going to hit you on the head. <laughs> she could have caught it and then hit Robert's arm. She was like, <laughs> one, one, four. One, one, four. Hey, best bitch, you got one, eight. No one better, you baby. No one better. Yes. Here's a pitch. Swung on. It's a hit to right field. First hit of the game. Newton comes up with it. Gets it into a cutoff. And a two-out single to right field by Cottle. Now bring up number eight hitter, Lauren Coppeter, hitting 129, the center fielder. Hey, two down. Two, three, one. Two, three, one. Hey, Two down for the Lady Engineers. Here, Pitch taken low for a ball. Want to know the count? Looks like she is second on the team in stolen bases, so she gets on. Big game last night for the Est County Lady Engineers as they took on a very tough Garrett County team. Coach Todd Montgomery, uh, he's got one of the best pitchers in this part of the state. And uh, down five to zero, the Lady Engineers came back and tied it in the bottom of the sixth. Maybe a little. Give up a couple runs in the seventh to lose it, but that was an impressive right. outing by the Lady Engineers last did. night, especially Get, without the seniors. Gar Garrett Get actually out. lost a key player too, the to model. Six one five. In the last year, Six, one, transfer. Five. So academics. Go ahead. Wanted to raise the ACT score. There's a swing and a miss. Hunter throws down to Hill. Hey, and nothing doing at first base. Saw something in the news about Gary County teacher. Didn't see that? I didn't see it. I don't know. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. But a lot of teachers. One, five, two. 